So if you train hard, chances are you are gonna be sore and you wanna maximize recovery. So today we're gonna to be walking you through a lot of different common ways to recover and recover fast. And whether it's worth it or not worth it, let's jump right into it. Numero uno, we're starting with a fun one. This was my first time doing it, cryotherapy. This is all the rage. These tanks are like 100K, so you're gonna pay pretty big bucks to get in there and do it. We paid 60 bucks to do that, the infrared sauna, as well as the weight of compression leg things that Kyle's gonna get into. But, you know, what's the verdict here? I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't find it that cold. I've done polar plunges. I've done ice baths a lot in the past, and I've really found those to be effective for me. A great form of blood flow regeneration. And truthfully, I was very underwhelmed by the cryotherapy tank. They do say there's beginner, intermediate, and advanced settings. I did the beginner one. It was like negative 166. It was cold. I did feel cold. My fingertips were a little bit numb, but I didn't necessarily feel the effects of, you know, just I would an ice bath. Like an ice bath is intense, and, you know, science kind of backs this up. You know, the more I read into this, it looks like it's pretty hit or miss, and it looks like it's not regarded in the highest. A lot of people advocate and say it is. Obviously, too, you gotta wonder how much of this is placebo. Placebo is a very beneficial healer, but in my opinion, I would save the money. I would fill up your bathtub with cold water, buy a thing of ice or two, throw that in, and get the benefits there. Here we go. This will be interesting, never done this. We'll see. <laughs> 90. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Nice and chilly. That's nice. Probably too used to the lake. You want 90. All that means is we gotta go lower in temperature your next time. Yeah, 100%. The same time, but you could probably take a little bit more. Yeah. Get too, too easy for you. That's pretty cool, yeah. I mean, my parents have a, a hot tub and then the lake's right there and I like jumping in, so I got practice. <laughs> let's go. 90. It's five seconds. Okay, let's get the temperature read. 77. Oh my god. Oh wow, you didn't drop Holy much. Man. You look so uncomfortable yeah. in there. Oh, I was very uncomfortable. Like from minutes like two to three, it's just like everything was just shaking. And like, <laughs> yeah. Your nipples are just like, feel like they're about to like bleed. I don't know, man. They're hard as, uh, hard as ice, but. The next one was the compression therapy. So basically you put these cool little pants on and sat there for 30 minutes, which was pretty freaking awesome. It kind of mimicked like getting just a full lower body massage. And especially after hitting some super heavy squats, it's really cool, right? Cause you can kind of, you know, um, put how much tension you want and it just pretty much goes up and down and just massages you in different areas, such as your hips, um, your ankles, you know, just all those areas, even my calves, my quads. And it kind of just felt like getting a massage and it was like a fraction of the price, right? You know, a massage is great um, because you can tell them and you get feedback from them, whereas this thing doesn't really give you that. But there are so many benefits between improving circulation, decreasing inflammation, and overall, you just feel so much more mobile after. I really did give this one a thumbs up and I thought it was really cool and you gotta try it out. They are $1,500 though. Honestly, I'd love to have them maybe like day to day one day, um, but it was really cool to try for the first time. Okay, after that meat, this is gonna feel nice. Yes, sir. So yeah, we got these expanding, should be really nice. Good amount of pressure, which is really good, especially in the legs. Legs get real jacked up. Okay, dripping. You ready, big guy? Oh, I'm born ready, man, I need it. Feeling good, this is nice. Just nice compression, gets nice and tight, lets it out. Blood flow, man, motion is lotion, and this is producing blood flow in the body. Feels good. Let's go. How you boys feeling? Pretty good. good. Can't complain. Nice and loose. Like a goose. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> And before we jump into number three, make sure to smash that like button. If we get 100 likes, we will make a full episode on what we do day to day to recover and maximize our results. And next up was the infrared sauna, and this is our red light therapy. Um, apparently, you know, you get rid of all the toxins, you cleanse out the system, all this other stuff. Now, this is something that science has been just a lot of, you know, just disproving of saying that it's just not worth it. I personally believe the sauna is great, and that's something that has been proven just so many different times over and over just for being um, amazing at relaxation allowing you to just feel great spend some good time breathing but especially when it comes to red light therapy and it also comes to you know just the uh, infrared sauna 
it's been said that it helps you sweat a little bit more. I know Ben Greenfield is a huge fan of it and that's totally awesome. Um, but you know, you kind of have to question like, is it actually worth it? And once again, when I look at all these different studies, it just doesn't have the benefits there. And especially when it comes to muscle recovery and just helping you become less sore, I just personally don't believe it's worth it. I love the sauna for breathing, for relaxing, for just sweating, for feeling good, but I don't believe the infrared sauna is a great recovery tool. All right, so we're big sauna fans, but this is an infrared sauna. Let's get it. Let's go. So what are, what are the benefits of uh, of this one here? The infrared sauna? Yeah. So basically this is an infrared uh, panels here that are causing your body to kind of heat from the inside out. Nice. So it helps flush all the toxins out of your body. So it's basically just a, a flush. Cool. Um, really good for you. And then this is the red light panel, and that's what I was talking about that's going to um, kind of recharge your cells through the mitochondria and release of ADP. Sweet. So really awesome. I'm pumped. Yeah. Number four is household massage guns. I've been fortunate enough to have the Theragun, the Hypervolt, as well as like a cheaper kind of knockoff. So I've tried all the different products, and I will say the biggest thing with this is it's literally like a masseuse, not in your pocket, but pretty close, right? Like I can be tight somewhere like my chest and I can go at it. I used to personal train someone who had one and she would bring it in, be super nice and let me use it. And then Kyle was like, yo, pass it over here. You know, it just, it feels so good. And while you're sitting watching TV or if there's an area that's tight, it allows you to really work on it, right? And the claim here is you're gonna get a little bit more blood flow. Some people will say, you know, it's gonna break down some scar tissue in the muscle. It's gonna help with healing. You know, once again, massage and its benefits, in my opinion, have been around forever and they're very tried and true some people will say you know the effects of this is minimal it's nothing too crazy but in my opinion right here the placebo even at like worse if it's just placebo is worth it like i would consider investing in one of these it doesn't have to be a super fancy one some people claim you need a theragun to actually get deep enough to get the true health benefits in my opinion even the cheapies are pretty good and it just feels good to actively be able to work on an area that is tight that is sore and you're just going to feel phenomenal from it i've never lent this to someone how and say wow that didn't feel phenomenal that wasn't like a great use of uh you know blood flow and once again you can pick them up for like a 100 bucks now so this is actually one i probably would grab especially if you're into lifting and you get really sore. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to smash that like button if you were informed and you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a comment down below with what you want to see next. We appreciate every single one of you more than you know. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Let's go! Let's go! Now it's time for a true cold dip. Oh, that's nice. That's colder than the tank. Water is very good on the system. Feels nice, very easy on the joints, good for recovery, floating around, swimming around, treading, gotta love it.